Workers continue to push back against employers in all sectors fighting for better conditions, pay, and benefits. Now Google employees are asking if their pay will be scaled up to match inflation. The short answer is no. During an all-hands meeting on Tuesday in video obtained by CNBC, Google's VP of Comp said Google doesn't want to give, quote, smaller increments to everybody, but instead, quote, we want to adjust it and pay it by performance. We saw the Starbucks vote yesterday, a number of high-profile employee disagreements coming to light this year. Tight labor market clearly giving workers the feeling they have some leverage in this economy. John, I was uh, thinking back to a time when Google held an all-hands meeting, worried about retention, and immediately gave out pay uh, hikes of 10 percent no matter when you started and $1,000 stacks of cash. Yeah, it's interesting. It sounds like they do want to keep people but they want to keep people who they judge to be their best people, right? So they're allocating that, that extra money based on performance, they say, not trying to spread it out to everyone, which, Julia, I think raises some uh, questions, issues, or maybe just makes some points about um, how companies are thinking about, I don't like talking about pay equality. I don't think anybody wants equality of pay. But the best people, right, should make more money. Now, how that judgment of best uh, gets made, I guess, is a different question. But... That's a bit of what we're seeing play out, I think. Absolutely. And it also shows that Google doesn't want to look like it's just folding to employee demands. And you have to wonder how much this kind of thing, whether it's a walkout of BuzzFeed employees because they're upset that they haven't been able to secure their union deal, their, you know, their, their wage increases while they see their CEO um, make a lot of money from their SPAC IPO. You have to wonder if this kind of thing is contagious and how much the transparency about this kind of frustration could drive other people, other companies, other workers, say other potential Starbucks workers to unionize and make this kind of thing spread, Carl. Yeah, that's why the Starbucks vote, John, is so interesting, because although it's small and wasn't uniform, by the way, yesterday in terms of location, but it does sort of fly in the face of the things we saw happen at Volkswagen and Boeing uh, and Amazon in one case. Uh, and that's why people are paying attention, at least in the service industry. Yeah, we talk a lot about trading stocks. You can also trade jobs. That's why they call it a job market, ideally, I guess. Uh, more on that story, by the way, on Google and pay at CNBC.com.